Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leeuwen. In today's video, per a request, I'm going to be unboxing this Paper Gang box and then I'm going to be doing a spread with whatever's in it. So this is the November 2020 box, I believe. Originally, I only had a three month subscription to Paper Gang, but I guess it like accidentally renewed or something. So now I have three more months starting with November. In my last Paper Gang box, actually, I got the journal that I am currently using. Let's just open it up. Also, this is like already open. Where's the thing to take? Oh my god, did this box open differently? So normally there's a thing to rip it open, but I guess you open it differently this time. Like here's the old box and like you rip it open this way, but I guess not. So we have black tissue paper. Oh my god, it's so pretty. At first I thought it was gonna be a darker theme because of this tissue paper, but it's actually like bright in the inside. So I actually still have my envelopes from last year that were like this, but these are so pretty. We have a pin, and I have like a whole pin collection board, so this is perfect. So every subscription box you get a little month thing. This one's kind of beat up and like it's not cut properly. This is my one from my last box, which I really love this one, and I don't know which one I'll use for next month, but yeah, I love these things. Ooh, okay, so this is a little magazine. Talks about the artist and everything behind the scenes, I guess. Apparently, this month, there are actually two artists. Susanna and Harry, what are their last names? So they have a brand called Papio Press it's from the UK. Then there is a shopping list notepad. And finally, this little notebook. Ooh, this is so pretty. I will definitely have to use this as one of my journals. The cover is so nice. And I like the size, the lined paper. Hopefully it will go a little better than the current paper game journal I'm using. So this is my current journal. So this is my current journal and I got it from a paper game subscription box. I think it might have been the last one. And I like the notebook and stuff. And I was originally excited that it was grid paper, but honestly, I think the grid is like too small or something. And in combination with the small grid, it's like a bigger notebook. So hopefully this one will go better because of it's smaller and I might like the lines a little better. This one's really nice. And there's actually something underneath. Well, there's this discount code for pasta. So then it looks like it comes with some paper. And okay, then that's all. So yeah, if you're interested in paper gang, they always put this on their boxes to like explain how it works. So each box, there's a different artist who designs it. And then I guess for every four boxes sold, they plant a tree. Now it's time we make a spread. So this is actually gonna be my spread for today. And I actually glued in some old paper gang stuff from last year. This was from the little hand flip thing. This that I still had for some reason. So I used some of it in this journal. And this is today. So we're gonna do spread. First of all, for the base, I'm gonna use this tissue paper and some of the paper, I think. Okay, I might use some of the images in here for the spread. I'm not sure if I wanna make this my like monthly December page or not, or if I just wanna make this like a paper game spread, but I'll cut this. Or make it like a little shopping list, like for Christmas gifts or something. Okay, I'm gonna cover up this because otherwise there's gonna be just some awkward white space left. This page is gonna be very collagey, which I normally do not take the time to do. I 
think it's too early to make this a monthly spread. We are going to make this a shopping list for Christmas. For context, I'm filming this the day before Thanksgiving. So we'll see how long it takes me to edit this video. I really just call myself out there because it is December 7th and I just got to that part of the video. So clearly it's taking me a while to edit this and it's for no reason. So I apologize. This tissue paper just falling apart. And also like this is really easy to turn into a checklist. If you don't want it to be a shopping list, you can always cover this title and make it a checklist like a to-do list or just chop that off. But we're going to embrace that it is a shopping list. Okay, let's find stickers to like schnazz this up. We could go with the animals. This one has, well, does it only have them gifts? Okay, well, we have a gift that we can use. By the way, these are these Merry Merry stickers. They're from Paper Source and it comes with like a good amount. I'm gonna cut out these little details and add them on, I think. Let me get my scissors. Since these are all the same pattern, they can kind of unify each other. Bring the spread together a little bit because it is a bit chaotic. There we have the base. Now I can start writing over it, but not gonna lie, I don't really know what to write yet. So I think it looks good. I really like how it turned out. So I guess here is today's spread. Lately, I've been in a bit of a journaling funk. And so I haven't been journaling as much. Like I started this journal. Let's see when I started it. I started this on November 8th and it is November 25th. So it's been less than a month, but I've gotten only a fourth of the way through this book. I think at this point, when I'm normally journaling, I probably would have gotten through maybe half this book. I haven't been journaling as much, and part of it is that I haven't been writing as much in my journal, and I haven't been sitting down and spending as much time journaling. But I still try to do it like almost every day. But yeah, like as you can see, I'm writing less. And I think part of it is these squares are kind of discouraging. But yeah, I'm working on it. So that's, this is my current journal. And I, I haven't really updated you guys too much. I feel like I have been slacking on both my TikTok and my YouTube. But I do want to focus more on YouTube for sure. So yeah, hopefully I will get this up soon enough. And hopefully like filming more journaling videos can help me kind of get out of my journaling funk. Also, I think a lot of it has to do with this journal. So hopefully we can get through this journal quickly enough so that I can move on maybe to a journal like this. Um, even though I think I want to do just a small journal, something to get through quick that will kind of be a little rewarding. Also, part of it is that my desk has just been such a mess, so I'm not as motivated to sit at my desk and work. Instead, I like work in my bed or just move somewhere else in my room, and I feel like that becomes a problem. And that's probably the main thing, because again, I kind of lack creativity, and I, I'll show you. Like, I only use, like, I'll only use, like, this pen and kind of it kind of holds back my creativity like just using like the same sticker books and like using my one pen instead of sitting at my desk and like pulling out different kinds of stationery hopefully i'll get better at that so going back through everything that i got in this box we got the notebook which is honestly probably my favorite thing i love when they put in these journals because they're honestly really nice and i like the page thing and just everything about it then i always love the little month thing i love how they have it in all of their boxes this one was cut weird so i just trimmed it down to how it was supposed to be i think then i got a pin which i can put on my pin board this shopping list this 
paper and I guess this is the last thing. These cards, which let me open these up a little more because there's different ones. So we have two Marion Bright ones, two Seasons Greetings, and two Happy Holidays. These ones are really pretty. Let me show you the ones that I got last year for November. These are the ones from last year's November box. Last year I got a three month paper gang subscription box for my birthday and my birthday is in October. So I got October, November, and December. This year I have it again on accident. So these are the last year ones, which I'll need to like, use these for gifts or something. I like how these aren't specifically Christmas cards so they can celebrate whatever holiday you celebrate, I guess. Also, I love when there's like gold details. I would put this in the pile, but it's kind of torn up now. And I'll probably use some of the papers left over in my journal. Like I can cut out the little details around here or cut out this part. We'll see. So that is the Paper Gang November 2020 box. And this is the spread I made. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, let me know if there's any specific videos you want to see. I'm not always able to make all of them, but I always keep them in the back of my head of things that you guys might want to see. I might do them sometime in the future. If you do suggest something, I love reading all your comments and if it says the comments are turned off, that is because of YouTube because I am under 18. So a lot of times they'll disable my comments right away, but I just have to go in and do it manually. Sometimes a couple times for it to work. If you're not able to comment, you might be able to later if I fix it. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.